Hello everybody, today as promised I will be servicing the all-wheel drive on my Volvo. This will be the first time that the car gets a treat of the service on the all-wheel drive system. Now as you can see I raised the whole car up in the air so the all the four wheels will be off the ground. The car is almost 8 years old and has 56,000 kilometers or 35,000 miles on it and the all-wheel drive has never been serviced before. Now let me show you the location of the all-wheel drive Haldex unit. It's located at the back of the car and I'm gonna crawl under to give you a better view. And this is it. You can see the prop shaft connected to the unit. At the bottom is the pump, on the right side is the module and the filter is above which you cannot see. Now how to determine which generation you have on your car. If the filter is on the left side it's Haldex 3. If the filter is on top like I do that's Haldex 4 and Haldex 5 doesn't have a filter at all. That's how you know. Now to perform this service we'll need a filter kit and one liter of oil. I'm gonna open the package and what you get is the actual filter. You have the cover and two new bolts. All the information for the part numbers is located at the description in this video. And let's begin. What I'm doing here is I'm disconnected the two connectors for the module of the all-wheel drive system. And also notice the prop shaft bolts are removed because before I was trying to disconnect the prop shaft without any luck. I will not include this in the video because it was unsuccessful. The module is held with two screws which use 4mm hex. The first bolt is out and the second bolt is a little bit harder to get to but I've used a quarter inch wrench to unscrew the other bolt just like you see. Remember that our aim is to replace the filter, remove the pump and clean the pump itself and also replace the fluid in the Haldex unit. And there is the other bolt coming out and the module is finally can be lifted away. Once the module is out it will be a lot easier to reach the filter which is on top of the Haldex unit. Now let's get to the pump. The drive shaft, the prop shaft and the flange are in the way of the pump. To take the pump out what I did is I removed those two screws which hold the cover for the actual pump. By removing those two screws the cover for the pump will detach a bit and go around the flange and this way I will be able to detach the pump without removing the prop shaft and the flange. Now the other two bolts which are hex 4 mm hold the actual pump in place. They're out now and unfortunately I should have kept the camera at the other angle because it's hard to see now and the pump is out and the fluid is gonna leak out. Keep watching, there is another explanation what I did later. And that's how much fluid leaked out once I took out the pump, approximately 450 milliliters. I pour aside for comparison some old fluid, pretty dark in color, 
and some fresh fluid aside just for you guys to see the difference and there you go once again the tools that I've used Torx 10 to remove the cover of the pump and hex 4 millimeter to detach the pump from the unit now I want to explain what helped me out to remove the pump out of the unit by sliding the cover off a bit this is what let, lets the pump go around the flange and this way you don't have to remove the probe shaft and the flange of the car just like that by looking at the brushes they are in really good condition and there is a lot of life left in them which means I can put this pump back in the car with no problem now inside the cover there is two magnets and a lot of residue from the worn out brushes I'm gonna show you all the debris that came out some brake cleaner to clean out the motor And on the motor, just look at all the dirt in slow motion. And I was a little bit afraid to use brake cleaner over here. And now the motor looks like new, all clean with no debris at all. And now to the sock on the pump, removing these torque screws and I want to clean this filter on the pump itself and it's pretty tight so a little screwdriver helps me out and it's pretty clean, just look at it, pretty much nothing on it. And now the filter back on the pump and pretty much the pump is ready to go back on the car. I'm gonna leave it open so all the brake cleaner will evaporate. Now it's time to remove the filter itself. This is the first bolt, hex 4 millimeter. It's a tight space especially when you have the prop shaft still in place. Just be patient and it will work out first one is out now the second bolt is a little harder to get to and I wanted to show you the way I was able to take it out just like that And by using two hands, it was much easier to just unscrew it out. And finally it's out. Now pry out the filter cover with some kind of tool. And you can still see the white plug in there, which we will need to somehow be able to fish it out because it sits really tight and this sharp tool I'm gonna heat it up and this is what will make it easy for me to remove that plug that's still in there just watch it's super hot and it makes an easy hole and then I just pry it out easy one and this is it this what sits pretty tight in there 
and we still have the filter which is really easy to remove with some kind of pry tool. And this is the kit. You have the filter, you have the cover in two pieces and the two bolts. This is the way I took out the filter. We have everything new. I was very curious to see what's inside that old filter. So we're gonna speed it up and that's what's inside. Some kind of plastic net and some kind of paper in a few layers. Pretty dark and nasty in color. It's time to install the new filter. Make sure that you lubricate with the same oil that goes into the Haldex. That's how Volvo says in Vida. Slide the filter back in. Really easy. And then just push on it until it clicks. And now it's in place. Also lubricate the cover with the same oil. Put the cover back on and screw back with new bolts provided in the kit. Exactly the same bolts, 4mm hex. Now using two hands makes it easier. It's really tight, don't forget that I'm laying on the ground under the car. Just be patient, this is the first screw going in. And the last second screw, just making it nice and tight. And the filter is in place. I've decided to sand down with a really fine sandpaper where the pump goes in. The pump is now dry and it's time to reassemble it. Now I've got an interesting idea how to install the pump easier back onto the car. I've grinded the location where it interferes with the flange. So I've grinded a few times until I was finally able to put it back into the place. The thickness of the metal is pretty good, so it was safe to grind it. And again, lubricating the O-rings on the pump. Installing the pump, notice that after grinding off a bit, the pump just slides the flange without any problem. There you go. And just for demonstration, I can now easily take it out and back in. If I ever need to replace the pump, I will grind it to make the installation easy without removing the prop shaft and the flange. Reinstalling the module back, pretty easy to put it back on the car. Okay. 
notice that this procedure will not work on Haldex 3 since you definitely need to remove the prop shaft and the flange to take out the pump. The procedure that I show you here will work on Haldex 4 and 5. Now it's time to refill with fresh oil. 13 mm socket will remove the plug. Notice that there is no drain here, there is only fill plug, which also acts as a level. Once you remove the bolt, make sure you don't forget to remove the o-ring. And make sure you use a new one. The fluid pump is all ready and connected to the battery, ready to pump in the new oil. Fill the oil until it's full and starts leaking out. And now it's full. This still is not the correct level in the Haldex. Continue watching. I will show how to set a proper level in the all-wheel drive. Temporarily reinstall the plug with the old washer because later we're gonna open it up again. Lower the car. How to properly set the level in the Haldex. Fill the Haldex with fresh oil until it leaks out. Take the car for a short test drive. This way the oil will circulate into the filter and the pump. After the test drive, make sure that the car is level on the ground. We'll need syringe, the oil and a new washer. Because I don't have level in my garage, I had to take the car outside. These blocks will give me just enough room to crawl under the car. Open the plug again. Get some fresh oil. And fill until it's gonna be full again and it will start pouring out. This is the first syringe and this is now the second one. So I fill it up until it's full. It's starting to leak out, so now it's full. Now wait until it starts pouring out and it just starts to drip slowly. Once you wait, now we need to extract 40 milliliters. Once you extract approximately 40 milliliters, this will be the proper level in the Haldex. I would like to repeat the whole procedure. Fill with fresh oil, go for a quick test drive, refill with fresh oil, 
wait until it just starts to drip, extract 40 milliliters and that's gonna be the proper level. Put a new washer and reinstall the plug. Here I'm using an aluminum washer which is used on the drain plug of the engine oil. Tighten that back on, clean all the mess and it's pretty much the job is done. I hope you like this video. Subscribe for more. Watch my other two videos how I did the rear axle and the angle gear. Like and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you next time. Bye bye.